Recall that a decision tree consists of decision nodes, outcome nodes, arcs or lines that show the order of decision, alternatives, and outcomes, as well as their payoffs. Multi-stage decision problems involve a sequence of several decision alternatives and outcomes. It is possible for a decision alternative to be immediately followed by another decision alternative. Likewise, it is also possible for an outcome to be immediately followed by another outcome. Decision trees are the best method for showing multi-stage decision-making problems because they can show the sequential arrangement at each stage. Let's look at our first example. The Duncan Manufacturing Company must decide whether to manufacture a component part at its Mississauga plant or purchase the component part from a supplier. The resulting profit is dependent upon the demand for the product. The following payoff table shows the projected profit. The decision alternatives are to manufacture or purchase the component, and the following outcomes are low demand, medium demand, and high demand. So if the company were to manufacture the component when it is in high demand, the projected profit is $100,000. A test market study of the potential demand for the product is expected to report either a favorable or unfavorable condition. The relevant posterior probabilities are given below. The probability of a low demand given a favorable condition is 9.86%. The probability of a low demand given an unfavorable condition is 48.84%. The rest of the probabilities can be seen below. Use a decision tree to recommend a decision strategy. First, we start off with an outcome node. We can have either a favorable or unfavorable outcome. After knowing the outcomes, the company can make a decision to either manufacture or purchase the component. If the company decides to manufacture the component, then there are three following outcomes. If it is in low demand, the company is projected to lose $20,000. If it is in medium demand, the company is projected to profit $40,000. And when it is in high demand, the company is projected to profit $100,000. If the company decides to purchase the component, then we can see the projected payoff when it is in low demand, medium demand, and high demand. Recall the process of folding back a decision tree. We will need to move from right to left, calculating the expected payoff at each outcome node. So first, we will need to calculate the expected payoff at nodes 4, 5, 6, and 7. Looking at a piece of the decision tree, let's calculate the expected payoff at node 4. It is equal to the probability of a low demand given a favorable condition times a projected payoff when there is a low demand, plus the probability of a medium demand given a favorable condition times a projected payoff when there is a medium demand, plus the probability of a high demand given a favorable condition times a projected payoff when there is a high demand. Plugging in the values, we have 0 0.0986 times negative 20,000 plus 0 0.3944 times 40,000 plus 0 0.507 times 100,000. This gives us an expected payoff of $64,504. The expected payoff of node 5 can be calculated in a similar manner. It is equal to 0 0.0986 times 10,000 plus 0 0.3944 times 45,000 plus 0 0.507 times 70,000. This gives us an expected payoff of $54,224. The expected payoff at node 6 is equal to 0 0.4884 times negative 20,000 plus 0 0.3256 times 40,000 plus 0 0.186 times 100,000. This gives us an expected payoff of $21,856. And lastly, the expected payoff at node 7 is equal to 0 0.4884 times 10,000 plus 0 0.3256 times 45,000 plus 0 0.186 times 70,000. This gives us an expected payoff of $32,556. Now we have the expected payoff at each outcome node, so we can recommend a decision strategy. If the market research is favorable, 
then the company should manufacture the component, since the expected payoff at node 4 is greater than the expected payoff at node 5. If the market research is unfavorable, then the company should purchase the component, since the expected payoff at node 7 is greater than the expected payoff at node 6. Here is an exercise that you can try. Remember to pause the video before you look at the solution. Good luck!